Hello and welcome to a new video that I'm bringing you today. It's actually some uh, FIFA 14 gameplay in the background, but what it's going to be mainly about is actually the game that just happened between Chelsea and Atletico Madrid. Now, what I'm going I'm to be covering this, this is actually going to be my, my first game review. Now, the gameplay in the background is not important, guys, so just ignore the gameplay in the background. It's actually just Chelsea versus Atletico Madrid. I literally just this second finished playing it, so it was just to get, get uh, gameplay in the background for, for, the, for this, what I'm going on about now. So... The game, if you didn't see it, ended on nil nil. Um, it was a, a, it was at Madrid, so it was actually a good result for both teams, if you can say, because if Madrid go to Stamford Bridge in the second leg of the, it's the semi final of the Champions League. So if Madrid goes to the, uh, in the, uh, if they go to Stamford Bridge in the second leg and score one, Chelsea have to score two to win. So that's what I'm nervous about. Obviously, me being a Chelsea fan, I wanted to, to, uh, to I wanted to play better than what we did today even though we played very very defensive um, which was the whole point uh, the final basically the stats was that in 90 minutes Atletico Madrid had 69% possession and Chelsea had 31% um, Atletico Madrid had 25 shots and 5 uh, to Chelsea's 5 shots they had 4 on target and Chelsea had 2 on target uh, they had 6 corners Chelsea had 4 they had 13 fouls and Chelsea had 16, so that obviously wasn't wasn't amazing. But I'm I'm glad that the way we played, to be honest, because I was nervous first of all that we'd get hit on the counter um, because I've had to come to Madrid just like Chelsea when they do that. They they hit on the counter attack, they destroy teams on a counter attack, um, uh, and so did Chelsea. Um, and they're really really good on the uh, on defense. They're they're solid solid team in but in both both areas there that's the same as Chelsea as well but I always knew it was going to be a pretty good game I obviously uh, I biasly favoured Chelsea obviously because I'm a Chelsea fan but coming to the second leg of this I think Chelsea will be able to pull it off I think they're going to play more defensive but they're going to hit uh, more on the counter attack so what they'll do is they'll do what they've done towards the end of the game where they'll keep two or three players back at all times um, and if we're on the counter attack if we're on like by their box they'll keep them on the halfway line so they can run back and then what he'll probably do is keep Aspilicueta or Ivanovic um, or both or Cole whoever uh, decides to play on the night he'll keep them kind of on the wings um, just so they can run back and then uh, what they will do is I think they'll go a little bit more attackive so they'll wait for Atletico Madrid to have the time they'll, they'll wait for them to, to shoot and then what they'll do is Chelsea will just hit them on the counter. They do that to every single team that they pray, uh, so they pray today that they play, and they'll continue to do it for uh, Atletico Madrid. But what I'm also worried about is that Atletico Madrid do that. So what <laughs> I'm nervous that when we hit on the counter attack, they'll completely turn it around and hit back on the counter attack and and produce something from it. So that's what I'm nervous for. But Courtois today made it a couple of uh, easy easy saves. Um, because we didn't really try, to be honest. We had a couple of decent chances, but just didn't really capitalise on them. Um, to be fair, I was hoping on the one goal, um, away goal. Even if we lost one, even if it was one all, I was hoping for an away goal of some kind. Um, because it helped a lot with PSG. Or with PSG. We played PSG, didn't we? The first leg, we lost 3-1. Then we, we went to Stamford Bridge and won 2-0. So, that's something. But, another thing that I wanted is, um, I wanted to actually have... A lack of injuries and a lack of cards. Now, today we were so unlucky when it comes to that. We uh, lost John Terry to an injury. Um, we also lost Petr Cech to an injury. And uh, news has just come out that he's going to be ruled out for the rest of the season, which sucks. So, uh, Swartz is going to have to step up. Although, he did really well in this game. He he made a couple of easy, easy like um, saves and things like that. Prevented Athletic Madrid from, from getting in. But it was mainly the uh, Chelsea's defence that... That just kept solid and, and was just insane. At one point, the formation was eight zero two. Chelsea's formation was that. At some point, they had like the the uh, two main attackers. They would have William, or the, and they would have uh, like, uh, Torres, like waiting, kind of defensive midfield area. Then they'd have all all of the defensive minded players. So Lampard, Mikel, Cahill, Terry, Aspilicueta, uh Joe uh, Joe Cole. What the hell, Ashley Cole. Um, all defensive, uh, defending the crosses and everything that was coming in. And John Terry and Gary Cahill played insanely good in this in this uh, game. Now, Ashley Cole also played very well. I was very impressed with Ashley Cole this game because uh, he's obviously been out of, of playing time this 
this uh, season because of Azpilicueta stepping up and playing really well in the left back position this season. Um, he's just been amazing in this uh, in this season. So I was like, okay, m- m- maybe it's maybe it's kind of like for the future. So for expect so uh, we'll see with a. Ashley Cole will get a little bit more playing time, hopefully, um, considering he played really well today. But I was nervous going into this game because I know what Atletico Madrid can do. They're first in the BBVA. They're playing insanely well against pretty much every team that they play in the BBVA. Um, and it's it's nerve-wracking coming to, to Chelsea or going to Madrid even. Being away scared me the most because we know what they can do. Um, and especially at the home ground where all of the supporters are, uh, are cheering them on and everything. It was um, insanely, insanely uh, difficult, I'd imagine, to, to actually play the game. But either way, it was probably one of the most boring matches I've watched, but a good result for both teams because Chelsea, all they need is one goal at Stamford Bridge then to park the bus once again like they did in this game and just, just stop Atletico from having one one opportunity that, that was worth it. But then Atletico Madrid, all they need is one goal and then Chelsea have to score two, which then lead, could lead to more because that means Chelsea have to attack. They have to push up. But let me know in the comments, guys. Who do you think will win the semi-final, the second leg of this game? Now, tomorrow is uh, Madrid versus uh, Bayern. And I don't know whether I'll do one on there. I might not. Uh, depends how I feel in the time. But I think that'll be an amazing game as well because I'm really, really looking forward to that. They, they, I don't know whether Ronaldo will be fit for that game, but maybe he will be. Either, uh, nevertheless, they'll have uh, Bale, they have Di Maria, they have all of these amazing players that just are quality. Um, but, you know, it really just depends on the game, really, doesn't it? So, I I was nervous today. We did end up picking up a couple of yellow cards to, to particular players. Frank Lampard will miss the next game. Um, Mikel will also miss the next game, which sucks as well. Um, I really wasn't looking forward to to the yellow cards and things like that, but Lampard had an amazing game because he's more of a defensive-minded player rather than Ramirez. Ramirez, I thought, sucked. I really don't like that guy. He he used to be really good, but now he's just not as good anymore because I just can't rely on him. It's it's so difficult to explain. It's just that he always messes up. He's not been the best this season. He's a good player, don't get me wrong, but he's just not been the best this season. So, you know, there's nothing really you can expect there's only so much you can expect and I don't think he'll have an amazing game against a team like Atletico Madrid but they did play him on the wing today he played a little bit better than what he normally does in CDM he does he didn't lose the ball as much he played a couple of good uh, plays and things like that um, so he didn't play as bad but he still was pretty bad but speaking uh, we can speak of Torres now Torres was playing his uh, kind of like young boy team okay he was Atletico Madrid was like one of the big teams that he played for at the beginning before he went to Liverpool. And uh, he, he, not that I can't really say he played bad because he had a couple of good runs. He got through one or two, he got through about three or four players with one run and then had the sh- and managed to get the shot off. Course, well, with another easy save, but he managed to get the shot off. And then also, he, he didn't really get much. More, like many opportunities because Chelsea are playing so defensive and, and things like that he didn't really get an, uh, like the amount of counter opportunities that he normally does in a game so he didn't really have that many chances but never, uh, nevertheless he did still play pretty well um, but you can't really expect so much off of a guy considering he doesn't play uh, like the whole team doesn't really play attacking minded now we were missing Eto we were missing Hazard in that game I'm hoping that well Hazard did actually travel to uh, Madrid but they didn't want to risk him for this game so what they done was they uh, they didn't put him on the bench they didn't put him anywhere on the team sheet they just kept him off he was probably in the stands watching um, but he he wasn't playing at all he wasn't uh, playing there. they didn't want to risk him injuring himself again so we were playing the second leg which I believe is next week so that will be pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to the second leg because I think it will be really, really like action-packed, um, and it will come to the point of where so many players are gonna want to be attacking-minded. Diego Costa, I think, is gonna shine in the second leg. I think uh, Diego played very well today, by the way. He played uh, pretty, uh, pretty goddamn well. He had a good couple of chances and stuff, but just couldn't quite get through the Chelsea de- uh, defense. Diego Costa didn't really play that well today. Um, was expecting more, but like I said, the Chelsea. Uh, defense was stopping most players from even getting a shot off so it was well, say that 25 shots were were off but only four of them were on target for example so they were shooting from pretty much every angle um toran come in pretty late in the game uh didn't really shine that much he, he did come in quite late villa come in in the 86th minute i thought he was going to come in earlier because villa is is a really really good player um and i thought he'd 
he would have been much better than what um, Real Garcia, even though Real Garcia played pretty de- uh, pretty well this game as well, but I was expecting Villa to, I would have put Villa in the starting 11 personally, but I'm not the manager, I didn't see him train the day before or like a couple of days before or anything, so we don't really know how it went, but Either way, he still played uh, pretty well in the, in the first few, well, in the only few minutes that he had. Uh, Sosa come in for Suarez, um, and Diego went off for Toran. So Diego played pretty well, like I said. Um, Toran didn't really get enough playing time. He played for about 40, he played for 46 minutes, but I didn't really see too much of him. Um, Via, like we said, hardly played. Diego Costa didn't really play too well. Didn't really get enough chances. He tried a bicycle kick from just like the, the box line, so... Um, just kind of sums up his game. Gabby got a yellow card. Miranda got a yellow card. Mikel, Lampard, and William. No, and Barr, sorry, got a yellow card. Barr got a yellow card because he was uh, time-wasting, I believe, um, which most teams do. Um, but, yeah, that was in the 94th minute. He never really played that well, but he didn't have enough chance to come in. He was only on the pitch for, like, two minutes anyway. So, that sucked. I would have actually liked to see Barr on rather than Torres because Barr has been, he's had two games for Chelsea he's scored two goals so he's kind of in form at the minute you can't really say that he's really really in form but he did play pretty well um, and Barr has been playing pretty well lately and for the few minutes that he's on he gave us a corner um, he also like stopped a few plays he tackled quite a few people so I'd, and Barr kind of gets more involved defensively rather than what uh, Torres does so I'd have preferred to see Bar Schurla come in, I think, in the... Uh, did, like, no, he never, did he? No, oh, I'm pretty sure Schurla did. Yeah, Schurla come on for Terry because Terry got injured in the 73rd minute. Um, didn't really do too much. But then again, we were playing defensively, so Schurla wasn't really expecting him to. But um, it turns out that Chick got a dislocated shoulder, which sucks, and he's being ruled. Uh, that's why he's been ruled out for the rest of the season. Uh, probably doesn't really want to risk it, but there's only about three or four games left anyway, and I think Chelsea are really just focusing on the Champions League now rather than the uh, league. But anyway, guys, we are coming to the end of this video. If you have enjoyed, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, let me know in the comments what who do you think will win the second leg and who do you think will win the Champions League in general. Um, and let me know also... Who do you think will win uh, against Madrid and, and Bayern? So let me know that in the comments. Also, let me know whether you would like more of these. If we can hit over 10 likes, that would be fantastic. And I guess I'll see you next time. Later.